Hey everyone, once again, welcome back to the full calendar series. My name is Dayat Niazi and today in this video, I'm going to upgrade, upgrade this series, right? Before this, it was in the Laravel 8 and now I'm going to upgrade this to the Laravel 9 and then Laravel 10, right? And later on, then I'm going to add the few more features like how you can add the event based on dates and I'm going to add the times too. For example, you want to add uh, uh, event uh, which is on the 20 date and the time would be from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So how you can add this and there are much more things. So first I'm going to upgrade this series. So this one is a full calendar JS uh, Laravel repository. So I pushed uh, code on this 2022 and now I'm going to copy the code and then I'm going to uh, pull this into my project. Okay, just copy this. I don't have any project. I'm going to pull this into my system. I have just created only uh, empty folder, right? Okay, I just click on this open git bash. I'm going to use this git bash and let me make this a little bit more bigger for you. Okay, so here I'm going to first initialize the git repository, right? So just type git in it. So it's initialize an empty repository, right? If you want to pull the project from the GitHub, you need to create a GitHub repository. Okay, then uh, you need to type git pull and then you need to uh, copy the your GitHub origin path. So just click on this code and there is this one is the URL. So you can click on this and copy this out and it's copied, right? Make sure to copy the HTTPS. Okay, just paste this out and hit enter. So this will pull the code from there and yes this one is pulled and if I go back and yes this one is our application so it's built in uh, in the Laravel 8 I'm going to upgrade this to the Laravel 9 and then 10 okay uh, this application is now there and uh, if I go here and I'm going to run this out here using the Laragon so let me start my Laragon here so basically there are out to around 18 videos so now i'm going to upgrade this out right so this one is the series so let's uh, close this one okay where i'm integrating this into the uh, i'm integrating the events into the calendar okay let's close this one i came here on the laravel and just click on this documentation so here i'm going to follow the upgrade guide so simply say that uh, upgrade guide and yes, it's already there. Upgrade guide, click on this. And yes, now um, this one is open Laravel 10, right? Uh, we can upgrade this from nine to 10. Before it was, I think there are options to upgrade to directly from eight to 10, but I think they removed this thing. No problem. We will first to, uh, move to the Laravel nine and then Laravel 10. Okay, this one is upgrade uh, to 9 from 8 and uh, I have uh, Laravel 8 installed into my project. So let me open this into my VS code to show you that uh, I have the Laravel 8 in the full calendar. Okay, it's opening and uh, yes, we don't have any file. So let's close this one. Let's close this one and uh, click on this so uh, composer.json. So it's uh, the Laravel version is 8.54, right? So our Laravel version is 8. So let's close this one. And here I'm going to now upgrade this, uh, follow this upgrade guide to do this step by step. Okay, uh, we have high impact changes and medium impact changes, right? Okay, now let's go back here, um, upgrading from 9. You can say that uh, we need to change this in the composer.json. So let's open your composer.json and change this uh, 9.0. So just make this 9.0. Okay. Also uh, take care about this thing, right? Also make sure we change this, but it is the same. I'm not going to do this. Okay. Then 6.1 no no maduru collision. So just find this uh, uh, no no maduru collision. Uh, collision. Yeah, it's this one. So this one would be 6.1. Okay, save this one. And then one age, one age is uh, for the 
message sending right before it was the next move and then replaced with the one age if you are using this service so upgrade this uh, by following this one and php return type uh, this one is optional if we can so then it's good but if we um, uh, if we can't so there is no problem okay then addition say on on things um application this one is a thing you can add this but i'm not using this out so it was so i think i'm not using anything else let me find it from here if anything else so driver local i'm not using any of the storage str collision no i'm not using these things here you can if you are using the mail service you can change your mail driver okay message and thing lang directory and so on things Start here this one i think level 8 is also following this one so let me uh, let me save this one and find the what's the middleware name it would be the yeah trust proxy so just uh, trust proxy middleware yeah it's, we are following the level uh, same thing right so we don't need to do this you can also remove the older package and i did this in my uh, some of the project it's mandatory if you are upgrading this out okay and that's it you don't need to do anything else uh, save this one and uh, now here i'm going to now upgrade the composer right so it's going to create the problems but no no worry i'm going to fix those problems so composer update i have downloaded this uh, from uh, from the github so i'm going to now install first composer and then i'm going to just install this warning now our framework in log file is version 8 but doesn't satisfy you are 9 right so we change this to the 9 so it's asking us that your log file is different so what is the log file so this one is talking about this composer dot log file so let's so uh, you can change this with the old log something like this or you can delete this right so it will generate new file and also create the vendor directory when we install the composer so now it will throw some errors i'm going to remove something from the composer file which but i want to show the exact error maybe you face this in the future i solved it myself because uh, i explored it on the internet there is no solution for this problem right so this one is a problem illuminate notification on this and these are not um, these should be also added even i have added this illuminate notification but it's still throwing the exception so basically error is different uh, if i click on this composer.json so here is a laravel spotty backup you need to remove this one okay and just to remove this one and also remove this comma right save this one not the comma save this one and install this composer again okay let's wait for a moment check that is it going to complete we have several things we can upgrade this and it's throwing another exception that uh, problem one don't install laravel from nine beta conflict analysis result okay it says only of these install laravel dev mastered things root composer.json require uh, nine dev and ignition so now it's creating this problem right i'm going to now uh, go to the laravel official github repository and then compare this composer.json with my own one so just go here and type github.com slash slash laravel slash laravel eight two nine right we are going to <clears throat> yeah you can also compare the changes but i don't want to compare the changes let's go to the uh, laravel oops i just go back now here i'm going to follow the laravel 9 so let's go to the laravel 9 okay and just go here in the composer.json 
okay it's <clears throat> uh, contains some of thing like um, it's contain gazelle and let me compare this with my one let me make this little bit shorter uh, not shorter it's uh, some smaller okay also we can add this okay just compare it with the start we have a name we have a project laravel keywords then lss require and here we need to add this so 8.2 0.2 php version so uh, do this carefully otherwise you will face a lot of issues okay and then fruitcake cores right mm -hmm. here this one is required these cores you can remove this and install it later i think it's also mm, creating the problem let me see it here laravel cores no for now not okay then tinker we have tinker version of 2.27 and then we have excel library then facade ignition here we need to also upgrade this so ignition with this one okay city and remove this ignition before uh, spotty faker tinker okay not this one now it's fine php unit is fine you know the local region we updated this out laravel sale and if you want to add the paint laravel paint you can add this laravel paint like this okay and then i think almost things are fine turn off my reminder okay <clears throat> and here we have something let me compare this auto load we have app psr and auto load test and yes it's installing now successfully right it's installing now successfully so just go back here we remove this laravel ignition right so it is creating the problem it's upgraded um, um, before it was two lines of code but now it's come with the one line of code right spotty laravel ignition and spotty is very popular in the laravel spotty have 200 plus uh, packages especially on the laravel okay let's wait for a moment let me uh, uh, create the env file here in the new tab or even i'm going to uh, here split this out i'm going to cp uh, dot env dot example to dot env right so it's added this env file i'm going to now add this php artisan key generate and key generate i think maybe it's uh, little bit with my video so i'm going to add this top php arts and key generate ah okay because we are uh, installing this out for now so let's wait for a moment to complete this process then it will generate the file and it will perform this again so here i'm going to set up my database connection so it would be the full calendar save this one and let's go here and open this local host to php my admin just type root okay and here i'm going to type this full calendar yes it's there now let's go back this one is successfully installed right and now just perform this operation again ah yeah it's now created application key right this one now let's close this terminal close this out and we have successfully installed this out let's close this one and i'm going to now now let me migrate this so php artisan migrate and then see if we have any seeder migrate let's get refresh and yes we have some tables we have some users okay and now i'm going to open this so full uh, calendar dot test okay and our application is there so let me open the calendar slash index this one is uh, uh my route and yes it's working now fine right here i'm going to add a new event 
so test two uh, or even say laravel mm, eight to nine or welcome to laravel nine so click on this save and yes it's saved if i give it a refresh so it wouldn't be gone right it's not gone because it's so uh, css is changed right because we are playing with the css when i'm explaining that how you can change its width its height and then its color right so that's why it's changed okay and fine now i'm going to upgrade this from 9 to 10 so probably i will do this in the next video because this one is going longer so thank you so much for watching the video so i'll meet you in the next one Bye-bye.